Welcome friends, it's Saturday morning, so we're going to do another one of our most viewed recipe video tests on YouTube. Does that make any sense? We're going to test one of the most viewed recipes on YouTube. Um, and today I think I'd like to make hummus. So let's go. And we'll filter that by view count. And it looks like the number one is how to make hummus that's better than store-bought. Easy hummus recipe by Inspired Taste. 3.7 million views. So let's take a look at that. We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the recipe. Huh. So this is one of those YouTube recipe channels that makes you go to their blog, or their blog, I guess, to get the recipe. Uh, looks pretty straightforward. Let's get started. So the comment section on this video is pretty much what I had expected, and a lot of the comments stem from the fact that they used uh, prepared tahini, like I am. Uh, you buy it at the grocery store. Um, a lot of people felt that you should make the tahini from scratch, grind your own sesame seeds. I don't know about that. Um, that might just be a little bit too far for me. I mean, at that point, why not just grow your own sesame seeds? So the tahini goes in the food processor first. They say you can use a food processor or a blender. Um, and then next up is some juice from a lemon. Um, they say one lemon. They actually give an amount, 60 mils of lemon juice, one large lemon. I'm going to say that that is the juice of one large lemon. So we put this in here first, and we process it. Now, one of the problems I'm having, which is not a problem with the recipe at all, it's a problem with me and my equipment, is this food processor is too big um, for this amount of stuff that's in there right now. The idea is that they want you to whip together the tahini and the lemon juice to make it really smooth. Um, unfortunately, my food processor just isn't going to do that because there's not enough to whip up. So I'm going to move on to the next section and hope that it's not uh, such a big deal. So, in next, they say to put in some salt, ah, cumin, and one crushed clove of garlic. Let me get a spoon. And a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And I imagine for this one, You'd want to use the really good olive oil. Um, I'm just kind of using the one that we always have here in the test kitchen because we're out of the really good stuff. Uh, but this is some place where the flavor of the olive oil, I think, will really affect the end flavor of the hummus. So this goes back on, and we whiz it some more. Now you should scrape down the bowl a few times and make sure that you get everything really whizzed together and combined before we move on to the next step. Okay, scrape that down again. And the next step is to add in the chickpeas. The recipe calls for a can of drained and rinsed chickpeas. Um, and you're supposed to put in half right away. And this was another part of the, uh, of the comment stream that was pretty negative towards this recipe. Everyone's saying you should only use dried chickpeas that you reconstitute with water and then boil and cook and then peel. Um, I don't know. I, I think canned chickpeas would be just fine. And again, I think the key here is to scrape down the sides quite a few times and the bottom and make sure you get a really nice, smooth, homogenous mixture. Um, we'll add in the second half of the chickpeas, and we'll put that on again. Now, it's pretty thick, so the instructions say to put in a couple of tablespoons of water to thin it out a little bit.
we'll scrape this down again. And then I think after this scrape, it should be uh, another maybe minute or two of mixing. Okay, so, Jules. Oh, you let me get the bread. You excited? This is I the am. most viewed hummus recipe on the YouTubes. Now you're supposed to do some sort of artful swirl on the top. Yeah. Are you doing the whole? And then. I got the hot bread. Wow, wow, wow. Sprinkle. I'm gonna bring it over so I can set it down. And the then pot. a little bit of olive oil. Boom. All right. Now. It is hot. Careful. Is, <laughs> I, I think the key to this recipe it, to get it really nice and creamy is mix it. Yes. <laughs> like really mix it. Don't be afraid to mix it. Don't be afraid to over mix it even. That's pretty creamy. Mm hmm. That is really creamy, isn't it? Mm hmm. Now, a lot of the, um, a lot of the comments under the video say to peel the chickpeas. There's a little skin on the other that side. That seems like a lot of work. That seems like a lot of work. I'm not <laughs> so willing, not doing that. I'm not willing to go that far. I am going to double dip. What? I know. I kind of like that. That's not bad. Um, strangely, maybe it could use a little more garlic. I was going to say, it needs a little of something. Was it the garlic that... I think maybe a little bit more garlic for me, maybe for you too, oh, yeah. and a touch more lemon juice, I think, a little more acid to to balance it out. I would still sit here and quietly eat it. Oh, yeah. For, I'm, so let's go on. I'm really pleased with this recipe. I think this is better than anything you can buy in the grocery store, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, could it be more authentic according to the people in the comments section? Yes, it could be more authentic. <laughs> But you know, I'm in Toronto. This is pretty good. I'm happy. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.